You can now build AI agents directly into your apps by vibe coding. And no, this is not an event. Stay with me. Base44 is a no-code app builder that lets you code anything with AI. They just added this agents feature, which completely changes the game when it comes to building AI apps. Let me explain. I built this app entirely with AI and added an agent to it. Instead of me needing to go into the app and use my cursor or even type into it, all I have to do is tell my agent what I want it to do, and it does it for me. For example, I built this custom CRM for a business that tracks all of their leads and deals. By using the AI agent, I can have it add new leads, update the status, and even do research on the company automatically. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this in seconds and give you three amazing use cases I found. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is Base44, and what we're going to be building in this video is something that you could actually sell to a business, and it's a customizable CRM. We're going to be building a simple CRM app that allows the company to track all the deals that they have in the pipeline, and here is the super simple prompt that I'm going to use for it. I'm going to come up to the top right, click on Start Build, and basically click on this say and I'm going to type in my prompt here and the prompt is build me a CRM app to track all the deals that we have in the pipeline in a company the company is called EcomWiz so we're just going to make this custom to this company called EcomWiz but the app is not what we want to focus on right here the thing that's really impactful is the agent that we're going to be building inside of the app so base 44 is going to begin coding this and it's going to give us a pretty cool looking app and we're going to add an agent to it all right, so a couple minutes later, we now have this dashboard here. It's called EcomWiz. Here's the app. It's basically a CRM like you've probably seen before in these vibe coding videos. The app really is nothing crazy, but we're going to actually build in something that's going to blow your mind. So as of now, what we could do is we could actually go in and actually add these different deals to our pipeline. So how this would work, we'd come and click on a new deal. And basically we'd have to add all this information here. So we'd have to add a title, contact person, contact phone, company, contact email, deal value, all of these different things but instead what we're going to do is we're going to build an agent where we could just interact with it in our app and tell it to add all this for us so that way we don't even need to click around the dashboard and do this ourselves so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to dashboard and i'm going to click on this agents feature here which you could see is in beta and all i have to do is enable this on and now we get this prompt here that says add your first ai agent ask the chat to create an agent for you describe what role the agent should have and what tasks it should perform so this is where things get really fun. So instead of being an N8N, for example, having to go and connect these complex nodes and all of these different things, instead of having to do all of that, inside of Base44, we could just come to this text box here or basically type in what we want our agent to do and all the tasks we want it to perform for us. Let me go ahead and do this now. Build me an AI agent that allows users to add different companies and deals to the pipeline. So this way, users can add all the company details just by chatting with the AI agent. All right, so I sent that off to base 44. It's going to begin planning the next steps and actually coding this agent behind the scenes. All right, so now we have this entire agent inside of base 44. Let me show you exactly what I mean. If I come over to dashboard, you could see if I click on the agents tab that we were just on, we now have this agent here. It's called pipeline manager, and we could actually click on this agent and see what the prompt says. So description, an AI assistant to help manage your sales pipeline. It can create and update company deals with whatever information the user provides. Provides. No information is mandatory. And then here is the instructions for our AI agent. And this basically means how we want it to interact with our application. So you're a friendly and efficient sales assistant for EcomWiz. Your goal is to help users manage their CRM by adding and updating deals and companies with whatever information they provide. So, all right, so here's an example. I've created a deal with X company. Would you like me to add a company name, contact person, or deal value? So this is basically how the agent works. Let me just save that and actually show you how you could begin interacting with it. Also, I do want to mention there are multiple different tools here that our agent has access to. So it has entity tool, which basically shows that there is a deal here. So it basically allows our agent to add deals as well as read different deals. And then also the same thing for companies for us to add different companies into our CRM pipeline. So there are two ways we could interact with this. We could interact with it directly in our dashboard, which only we have access to inside of base 44. We could just click on this start chat button here and then we could begin chatting with it. But if you are a user of the platform, for example, you know, you launch this online and you, you want to use to actually use this in the app, they're going to click on preview and go to this AI assistant tab here in this navigation menu, which we added. And we could add this wherever we could add this as a, you know, bubble pop-up bubble on the side of the application if we wanted to, but this is just what it did this first try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on start new conversation. And here's where I just speak with my AI agent and basically tell it what I want it to do in the app. I want you to add a deal in the pipeline for the company Amazon. And the deal is worth $150,000. And I want you to mark this as in negotiating stage. So it 
it's as simple as me sending this off and you can see we're gonna get a response from the agent here. What would you like to name this deal? Let's just name it Amazon. And just like that, it said that it actually created the deal. Let me go into the user interface and see if it's reflected in our app. So if I come over to preview, go to the homepage, you can now see we have this Amazon deal that is in negotiation for $150,000. And we could even go back to our agent and make some changes to it. For the Amazon deal, I forgot to add the company email address. It is Amazon at gmail.com. Okay, so what it's gonna do now is it's gonna go into the details of this potential deal and actually add the email that we provided here. So I come back over to the dashboard, click on pipeline. You can see that it now has our email address here, amazon at gmail.com. So this is a very basic use case that I wanted to show in this video on how you could actually use agents inside of Base44, but I'm gonna show you a couple other ones now. So real quickly, I just built this inventory dashboard for a company, it's for an e-commerce company, and I wanna basically add an agent that can check what the inventory is for any of the products we have on our website. Think about it before, we would have had to build an agent inside of N8N, that probably wouldn't have been easy to build if you're non-technical, and then you would have had to find a way to actually connect it as a database to our app inside of a platform like Base44 or some of these other Vibe coders. But this is the power of Base44, giving you access to create agents directly inside of the platform, which I've been loving. So again, we just need to go to dashboard, click on agents, and then first of all, we just need to enable agents, and then we're gonna come over to the chat and explain what we're trying to build here. I want you to build me an AI agent that allows the user to actually check inventory to see how many items they have of each item in stock. So there we go, I'm gonna send that off to Base44. It's gonna begin creating our agent, and let's come back to this shortly. All right, so that took about a minute, and now we actually have this AI assistant that is added to our app. As you can see here, if I click on this little icon, and then if I go to the dashboard, you could see again in the agent section, you could see we have this agent. And one thing I forgot to mention is you could actually edit the agent and come in and actually like change the instructions here on how you want it to act. And one thing is you don't need to actually come and type in your changes here. You could actually just come to the base 44 agent on the bottom left-hand side when you're vibe coding where it says, what would you like to change? And just explain the changes you wanna to make to the agent and it'll automatically inject that prompt into that agent. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and actually test this out now inside of our app. We have our inventory CRM here. It's a dashboard that tracks all the inventory for an e-commerce company. So let me come over to AI Assistant and then basically type in a prompt here. Here's my prompt. How many of the wireless Bluetooth headphones do we have in stock? You can see it's actually reading the product and it says we have 50 units of the wireless Bluetooth headphones in stock. Let me go back to the dashboard and see if this is legit. As you can see, wireless Bluetooth headphones, we have 50 of those out of 100. And you can also see that on our dashboard here, there's 50 in stock. So what if we actually wanna go ahead and change the amount of inventory that we have? I could just come directly into our, into our agent and say, I want you to add 10 more of the wireless Bluetooth headphones to our inventory. Boom, done. I've added 10 of the wireless Bluetooth headphones. The stock is now 60. Let me come back and just like that, as you can see, our inventory changed here. We now have 60 of those in stock. Hopefully by now you guys are seeing the power of being able to build these agents inside of Base44. As if this couldn't get any crazier, I just created another use case that just blew my mind. Going back to the original CRM that we actually created called EcomWiz, I basically added in functionality where I come to my AI assistant and anytime I actually add one of our companies or our leads, it'll automatically do research on this company and update it directly inside of my app, that's insane. So what I could do is I could just come to new chat and basically say, add a new deal for Wix. The deal is for $15,000 and it's in negotiation. So I'm gonna send that off. It's actually gonna store this information, but it's also going to literally research on the internet Wix, add that to my app inside of my CRM. So if I come to my dashboard now and actually go to the different companies, you could see that it actually added this. Wix is a technology company that provides cloud-based web development and a no-code website builder. They offer comprehensive platforms platform and it even added a link to try out Wix. Guys, this is crazy. The fact that we're building this with natural language inside of a platform like Base44. Imagine this, we could actually create a CRM inside of Base44 and basically whenever we add a company, it automatically researches the company and then based on the specifications you give it inside of your agent, you could basically just configure this prompt and then say, we only want to work with these types of companies. And if they don't match that qualification, they won't be qualified and they'll just delete that lead and you know not to waste your time on it. All right guys, there we have it. That is the new agents feature inside of Base44. If you guys want to sign up, there is a link in the description to do so. Thanks for staying to the end of this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.